Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of July right through the end of August 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your twin flame reading for those twins who are currently in separation. The first pile will be your pile, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile will be the unified energy of how things are coming together in the next six weeks, okay? Also, please make sure you're in a twin flame connection, because if anyone is mentally, physically, or emotionally abusive, that is not a twin flame connection, that's more likely to be a false flame connection, and that will drain you of your beautiful love and waste your wonderful time. Now, of course, uh, you can see I'm in a different surrounding at this time. I've just gone to visit my folks for a couple of weeks and I'll be back in my usual space in the next couple of weeks, of course. And I have just opened a competition to win a free personal reading from me. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end as some people are here just for the reading. And of course, uh, you know, I don't like to waste anyone's time. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Gordon Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding their twin flame connection? Can you please guide guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of at this time? Can you please show them the way? What are they meant to see regarding their twin flame journey in its current form? What are they meant to be aware of? Can you please show them what they are meant to be uh, knowing at this time or the path that they're meant to be on, the lessons that they're meant to be learning? What is their twin flame going through at this time? How far are they away from coming together in union? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Now, um, for those of you who return to my readings, the subscribers who constantly return, uh, firstly, I'm saying a huge thank you to you all. I love your presence here. Uh, but I am going to give a bite-sized uh, description of what it means to be in a twin flame connection. And you may have heard this before. Uh, we do have some wonderful new subscribers coming in and they do ask me what it means to be in a twin flame connection, so I will mention it briefly. So you may want to fast forward this bit until I've got all the cards, okay? Because I don't like to waste your time uh, and repeat for you. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to start that now and I'll see you when I get all the cards. And for those wonderful new subscribers or people who are new to my channel, uh, a twin flame connection, it's an activated relationship. It's more about accepting your spiritual awakening than it has to do with uh, being with your twin in a physically romantic relationship at first. Of course, when you meet each other, it's intense, it's passionate, it is romantic, and it is otherworldly. It's magnetic. You're drawn to this person like a moth to a flame. Uh, it's almost obsessive. You can't stop thinking about your person and vice versa. They actually do feel the same. They know when they have met their twin because it is a formed sacred union but it's actually the result of shared difficulty and pain. So you'll notice that you and your twin have had very similar journeys or experiences or life lessons. And you know, your twin reflects back to you your greatest strengths, but also your greatest weaknesses. This is on purpose because uh, their presence, their job, shall we say, is to amplify these areas to promote healing, personal growth, and of course, transformation. Now, uh, a twin flame, connection is more of a process that prepares us to release lower vibrational energy that keeps us stuck in fear, addictive patterns, or unhealthy attachments. It's an intense inner vibrational transformation, but it is a personal journey of discovery, so it is one that must be done alone. And that's what is the most difficult part of the twin flame journey to fathom. Now, um, there tends to be a runner, a chaser, and a separation period, and 
that's not always the case, but it tends to be typical. So I want you to be aware of that. The chaser tends to be more spiritually evolved or more willing to surrender to the union and the healing. However, uh, the twin who is a runner, they basically look at their twin because it is a mirrored relationship. When you look at your twin, you see all the things within yourself that are amplified that need to be healed. And the twin that is the runner, they tend to look at all that stuff and they feel overwhelmed and they basically keep on running from all the things that they've been running from their whole life. So they push their twin away, they project their feelings, uh, they know that it's love, however, uh, they uh, feel like they cannot look at the stuff that they have been uh, basically numbing or uh, running away from, ignoring, avoiding for quite some time. So they basically uh, either ghost the union or bolt. It's a very immature energy, but it does tend to have a pattern in a twin flame connection. Uh, both parties, they meet in the same vibration, okay? Um, I like to describe twin flames like magnets. Um, I'm going to go one more. Uh, magnets that are identical in polarity, okay? Um, and these magnets, they attract each other, but also repel each other. There is always a space in between, and that space is there to um, highlight and promote healing or areas that have been left unlooked or unprocessed. And, uh, you know, I like to uh, show you that basically both magnets are drawn to each other, but also they repel. And if this is the chaser and this is the runner magnet, uh, then if the chaser reaches out or messages or even keeps thinking on a vibrational level about their twin, it will perpetuate the cycle. The space in between will always remain the same. So I always say, do not wait for your twin to spiritually evolve uh, because they will work on their own time frame, and you will work on yours. Uh, I always say, don't wait for anybody. Live your life and be happy and, you know, fall in love with your life and enrich it in the most spectacular way. But um, if this chaser puts all that love, care, devotion, and attention on their true life's mission and purpose path, which is what twins come to this lifetime to do, they have a calling. Uh, as soon as you do that, then you change the vibration of the magnet here, and this magnet comes towards their twin. But it also encourages your twin to actually vibrationally step up so that they can be a match, okay? It's not a game, it's an energetic exchange. And, you know, some people say, how can twins not just have a conversation and articulate how they feel? Well, you know, twins tend to come with a lot of uh, either trust issues, codependency, insecurity. It'll be different for every twin flame uh, journey, uh, but there's abandonment issues. There can be a lot of things that need to be processed based on a culmination of life's wounding. So it can be childhood wounding, it can be, um, you know, being bullied, it can be witnessing parents or guardians divorcing. Uh, our first foundation of what it means to love tends to influence us all. So whatever it is they witnessed or you witnessed, this can sort of impede the relationship coming together. So it is a process and, um, you know, twin flames, they feel really deeply for each other, but they also trigger every fearful emotion to the surface so it can be healed and released. And uh, when they start to have really intense feelings and they are surrendering to the union, they often feel very exposed. So uh, these fears start to uh, surface and of course it triggers the unhealed responses that the ego tries to protect, okay? There has to be an ego death in a twin flame connection so that both parties can break open and uh, enter the cycle of spiritual awareness, but also healing. Now, it's a very, very difficult experience. So I'm sending you a huge hug out there if you've met your twin and you're going through a very lonely or isolated path. Um, not every twin flame takes the journey of life together. Some people give up on the twin flame and they can actually go and have a soulmate connection with somebody else. I want you to be aware of your options, right? Uh, but uh, basically, when the moment is right, the universe will always orchestrate a meeting between you and your twin in the future. So breathe. What is meant for you will never pass you by. If you continue to remain in a cycle of yearning or you're feeling stuck or you feel that you know, you're know you waiting for your person, then remember you're perpetuating the cycle. So therefore there has to be a catalyst for change. Get busy living and then you change the vibration and then your twin comes back to you in union, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Now, with a lot of respect, I'm gonna move on uh, with the rest of the reading. 
So we have your first card there is the Magician card. So this is a card of control, of course, but it's also a card of magic. So you feel that this connection, it was otherworldly. It is a, a different kind of experience in love. It was passionate, intense. You're drawn to this person. I mean, literally, this is the magnet, okay? And, you know, your person... I can see that they've got the devil card. Um, I'm actually seeing in the water, before I even start, I'm seeing, um, oh, okay. I'm seeing like uh, lots of people wearing masks, okay? It's a very famous festival, the Day of the Dead. Uh, I wanna attempt to say what I'm seeing in the water right now. Uh, Dia de los Muertos, I want to say. I I'm probably said that really badly. Um, but that's what I'm seeing, um, and people in lots of masks. So for some of you, you feel, well, this is over, okay? Otherwise, this could be, you know, that you and your person went to that festival, or there's some relationship with that festival to do with you and your person. Maybe you met them at that festival, or it is a poignant moment in your relationship. I'm not really sure. I can only give you kind of like the energy that I am feeling from this, I feel like you think it's over, it's done. You, you can't go back to this because the Page of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles there, it tends to tell me that you're trying to create balance in your life, that you're really busy or you're focusing on your projects at this time. And some of you may have even you know, thought about or started uh, talking to someone new because um, this card is like, you think about this person a lot, your twin, uh, it is magnetic and you are tempted or drawn to this person a lot, but I feel like you are trying to be really strict with yourself and withdraw or keep yourself protected so that you focus on what's really important to you, creating stability, uh, you know, creating uh, finances or enjoying your finances. Um, some of you are learning uh, more about uh, the mind, uh, why people make certain decisions. You may be learning more. I'm being given like really random but also very precise things right now. Learning about body language, learning about intentions, maybe even learning about the twin flame itself. Um, for some of you with this card, I mean, it is the manifestation card. So the more you think about your person, of course, the more you're drawing that person back. I always say be very careful uh, when you are um, having a memory because remember, thoughts become things. And if you're having a memory about the last time you were with your person and it was uh, not a happy one or it was a toxic one, um, you're actually calling that person back in that vibration, okay? so. If you do want to connect to your twin again, uh, please try to um, imagine what life could be if they were not in a cycle of repeat, if they were not in a toxic vibration, because they've got the devil card there. But this tells me this person thinks about you because the devil card is a Capricorn card. So this is how they feel about you. Uh, we've got the four swords. They're taking a temporary time out. Ace of pentacles means that they want a new start. They want to invest in this in a healthy way. But with the devil card, they're feeling stuck. There's something that they have not yet overcome or they have not healed yet. So in its present form, I feel things are still a little bit uncertain. I mean, with the Queen of Cups there, there's still a lot of love, okay? I definitely see that, you know, in the future, you and your person are ready to fully surrender to this union and, you know, fall in love even deeper than ever before and heal this because the Queen of Cups is a healer energy. But with the manifestation card right now, you think about your person, um, you may be trying to call this person back energetically, even though um, with the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this tells me on the earthly plane that this is something that perhaps you are trying to avoid at this time. You're trying to manifest your goals and your dreams and envisage a brighter future for yourself. Um, also, and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, for some of you beautiful Capricorns, not all, but some, it's almost like you may not want to look at this person's social media platform or you may not want to um, sort of see what this person's up to, but at the same time, I get a sense of curiosity. So some of you may have like taken a peek at what they're up to. I want you to be aware that of course, social media, when people put things online, it tends to be for other people to see, of course, um, but it, I feel this energy of this person, they could have put something up online where they're just having a lot of fun. And um, 
don't get me wrong, this person is trying to enjoy their life, but I feel there's an energy where something can be misconstrued. So you could look at something and think, oh my gosh, they don't even think about me at all. This person's just, you know, going out there having fun. Uh, you know, there may even be like a photograph or something that kind of suggests that they've moved on, okay? Um, looking at the Four of Swords, this person's single. The Twin Flame I'm picking up on, they're single. Okay, so if you've seen a picture that is like a little bit suggestive or um, it looks like they're flirting with someone else or something like that, um, I would say don't allow that to uh, influence this connection in any shape or form because um, I feel, oh, this is a very immature vibration. I have to be honest with you. You know, I don't condone anyone's behavior and I'm not here to uh, take sides or anything like that. I'm trying to understand what's going on in the twin flame connection. So I must connect to both energies so I can connect to an outcome. But I am getting this person. It's like they put it up for it to be seen. So it looks like they're like getting on with their life, having a great time. Um, but with the four swords, this person is single. And uh, with the devil card, I feel like they're, you know, reflecting on their fears, reflecting on their toxic patterns, and they think a lot about you as well, okay? So I feel like you're actually on their mind predominantly, but it's almost like they have this bravado. They haven't had the ego death just yet, is what I'm seeing there, okay? Now, you could see a future with this person when you first met this person. I feel um, that, of course, you know that this person's your twin. You let this person into your life and into your heart, and you're very discerning about the company that you keep. You don't allow just anybody in. But what you basically can feel is this magnetic pull towards this person. It's almost obsessive energy between you both. It's physical, it's intense, it's uh, magical, it's also destructive in its present form. So there's a lot to uh, be done. There's a lot of work to be done in this connection. You don't need me to tell you that. You know that already, but the cards are telling me that as well. And um, we've got the Two of Pentacles. So this tells me that for some of you, your energy is fluctuating. One minute you want to be with this person, next moment you really don't want to see this person ever again. It's over, it's done. I'm actually being given a song right now. Um, I'll give you the lyrics of what it is. Um, yeah, you never said a word. You didn't send me no letter. Don't think I could forgive you. Okay. Um, now, this song, it sounds familiar, so... Uh, now, also, I'm not sure it got, if it got caught on camera, but um, I just saw a um, blue orb just manifest here. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll look back on the camera and see if there was a blue orb there. So it just caught my attention, but I'm trying to understand the energy of it. Uh, there is a presence with you. This is someone who has um, transitioned in spirit, uh, and I feel like this person, they are your guide, but they are also someone who is a family member who feels this union should be on pause at this moment in time so that you can reflect on your projects, um, but also reflect on um, being happy in your own life is what I'm being given. And I'm also being given the crescent moon is a sign. Uh, whenever you see the crescent moon or a, a symbol of the crescent moon, there's something about a crescent moon here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm being given. So with a lot of respect, I'm gonna move away from that energy. It's just, it caught my attention and the energy drew me a lot more over here than um, when I'm scrying, which is over here. Okay, so uh, I had to address that energy. Um, it's like you're being put on pause on purpose so that you um, basically get to know yourself better um, and connect more to unconditional love and heal parts of yourself also that have remained unhealed. So I feel like you are in a period of construction, okay? Um, and the pause is on purpose. So it's okay is what I'm being given. I'm also being given that you'll be drawn back to this person when the moment is right, but only if you choose. It is your choice is what I'm being given. It is your choice. I mean, we all have free will, of course, so it is your choice, but um, um, they want you to know that you're protected at this time and that you're just almost like in the twin flame waiting room. 
so that you just basically spiritually evolve and connect to your true life's purpose and mission path um, and remain on track is what I'm being given. So with a lot of respect, I'm going to move away from the energy because it is quite a gregarious kind of energy. It drew me in quite quickly, okay? Uh, and as you can see, it kind of frazzled my energy a little bit because uh, I normally connect to a certain frequency for uh, scrying and doing your reading and it completely like brought me in there. So I'm just going to connect and ground myself a little bit there. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles, of course, this is a, an energy of fluctuation. I mentioned that, you know, um, that song that came in, maybe it's relevant in some way. Either you're going to hear that song in the next coming weeks and months. It's definitely a song that I've heard before, so it may have come up in a reading before in the past, like a couple of years ago, but I can't really place it. Um, Yeah, so listen out for those lyrics, or perhaps I'm going to Google the lyrics and see uh, what the song could be at the end of your reading. I mean, the lyrics literally say something very important. Um, this person, they haven't either written back to you, or they haven't written to you, or they haven't basically expressed why they've taken a step back or what's gone on, and you can't forgive this person. So there's part of you, you know, you're trying to find inner peace. You're trying to be in the flow of life. You're making some adjustments in your life right now. Um, and maybe that's part of you that's like, I can't forgive this person. But at the same time, the yearning is so strong, which go against everything that you tend to do in life. Your trait is always forward moving. You know, if someone does you wrong or if someone... Um, hurts you or betrays you, you're gone. That's it. Capricorn is gone. You don't see them for dust. But this person, they got in so deep. They are your twin, so it is a very different, intense energy. So there's also a yearning here, a drawing back, even though it's almost like despite yourself. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. Um, now, also the Two of Pentacles, it indicates that, you know, you're trying to launch yourself into being busy. So you don't think about this person. Uh, you may also feel that you now are very inconsistent in this connection. You want to be with this person. You don't want to be with this person. You're not sure. They started at first is what I see because we've got the devil card present there. There's this energy of uh, two people stepping back, stepping back, stepping back, but desiring to step towards each other. There is that magnetic pull, there is passion, there is intensity, uh, there is temptation as well is what I'm being given here. But you're trying to create peace and harmony in your life and right now you feel this person would disturb that level of peace. So what I see here is ultimately you want to meet someone new. You're learning about the twin flame connection, you're learning the lessons. However, I feel like you want to free yourself up from this because it has taken up a lot of your time, a lot of your emotional energy, and I feel like you're exhausted. You're drained from this, and you can't do this anymore. Um, you know, the Page of Pentacles, it's really interesting that it is a book that is closed. It's like the chapter is done. You can't do this anymore. You gave everything that you had to offer in this connection. You tried everything, and now it's like uh, it's a part of your life that will, you know, remain a story that was uh, very important to you, but I feel like, you know, you haven't even just closed the chapter. You've literally put down the book. It's it's over. You know, you may not have even gotten to the end of this uh, book. It just feels like you're done. Um, but also, it's very interesting because I'm seeing in the water a letter with a wax seal on it. And this kind of looks like a bit of a wax, even though it's like a red stone. It kind of reminds me of a, a wax seal. So either... You know, you've written something that you've never sent to this person, and it's almost like it was cathartic. It got your feelings onto the page. Uh, but I feel, even though you feel it's over, or you have decided that the chapter is over, there is one more opportunity, is what I'm seeing here, for you to actually give this person that letter, if you want to, or send that text, whatever it is, email. Um, Also, I feel with the page of pentacles, this is news. So this is the next six weeks. I feel like you will actually hear from this person, but I'm not sure if it's in a traditional way. It sounds really weird. I'm going to have to pull a card on it. Um, so for example, if you're on social media, it's like they may kind of like like one of your photos by accident, which highlights that they're also kind of stalking your social media. I just want to pull a card because 
I mean, the devil card does tend to tell me that this person, they haven't broken through their cycle of repeat or their pattern just yet. The Hierophant. The Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Well, the energy that I've got, it's interesting because the Hierophant is traditional. <laughs> and then we've got the Three of Swords. It's like the traditional way feels hard. So I would say this person, your twin, the person you're dealing with at this moment in time, I feel like they are trying to find the best way to approach this situation. I mean, also with the Hierophant, this is the marriage card or the high level commitment card. So I do feel that to some degree you saw your life with this person and there was a lot of heartbreak and there's a lot of pain and sadness and it spun you off into looking at your options because you feel you can't do this anymore but it's also influenced the way that you operate in love it almost feels like it's made you I don't want to say that you are avoidant of relationships it's almost like you may have felt that love ends up being very painful, so what's the point? Um, I feel like you're doing a lot about learning about who you are, your options in life, and I feel that some of you are trying to stop thinking about this person because it hurts so bad. Uh, it almost like it brings you back into a cycle of repeat or into a cycle of sadness, and you're trying to move forward and not backwards. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person, they're going to be like searching... This is a card of like searching. I feel like this person's going to be searching and they're going to like by accident kind of highlight to you that they are still like looking at your stuff if you're on social media. If you're not on social media, this could be something that this person, if you have a common friend or a friend in common, um, it can be that this person says something about you or asks about you and it just spins you on back. You're going to hear something about your twin in the next coming weeks but it feels like it's not the usual communication. Uh, when I get to the uh, outcome energy, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more, but that's what I'm getting right now. Let's get to their energy. We got the devil card. Now, of course, this is their overarching energy. This is how they feel about you, okay? So um, this pile is how they feel about you. Um, I feel like they think about you a lot. That's definite. From this card um, also they feel that they're running out of time because they feel you slipping away but also the devil card indicates that they are in an energy of um, fear or a cycle of repeat they're stuck in something that they feel bound to that is unhealthy at this time it could be an unhealthy uh, attachment to their past narrative for example if they were in a high level commitment uh, and it uh, broke their heart before they met you it can be that the experience itself influence the way that they operate in love and kept love at arm's length. Um, but I have to pull a card on this person because they're presenting right now as being someone who is in a single energy. They're on their own. Uh, I feel like this person, they may have some addictions here. Uh, now, that doesn't mean it has to be substance addiction. It can be that this person is addicted to drama or they are addicted to uh, like a past narrative. For example, parents or guardians divorcing, and they witness that as their first foundation of what it means to love, and love is very turbulent for them. Uh, it's almost like they need to recreate the drama to get the fix of what it is that they witnessed in childhood. Humans are very complex uh, creatures, and you know, I feel this person is bound to something that they feel hard to overcome. This also is a card of lust. So I feel this person, you know, they are physically very drawn to you. They find you very attractive. But also I feel like they are uh, avoiding their uh, intimate feelings. They are emotionally avoidant at this time. But their intention with the Ace of Pentacles is to offer a high-level commitment. But they tend to self-sabotage or get in their own way. But I'm not readily being allowed to see why. That orb just showed up again. Okay, uh, it's very obvious, like it's because of me. I'm making sure that there is a pause because Capricorn needs to be protected at this time and needs to work on themselves. That's the energy that I'm getting from this orb. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Garden Angels. I would love to see if it manifested. Sometimes there have been videos in the past where I've um, 
been reading, uh, and orbs tend to manifest here uh, because they're drawn to the light. Uh, so I have uploaded some of those videos to highlight to people when a, an orb just manifests. But this one is like blue, and it is beautiful. So um, we have the um, Six of Cups here. Now, this can indicate that this person, uh, there's a couple of energies coming from the Six of Cups. Number one, this person wants to reunite. They do want to come towards you, and they do want to offer love. That is their intention. However, this card actually has a deeper meaning um, that my guides kind of offered up to me uh, the other day which can be you know um when a person hits adulthood, you know, they are in these grown bodies. However, they haven't spiritually or emotionally matured. And this person is kind of looking at um, almost like the Peter Pan syndrome, where um, as they get older, they feel like they don't want to settle down. They feel like they're still in party mode or they just feel like they're not ready for love and that's fine absolutely but it's the reflection of it so this person it's like they're lamenting their childhood or they're lamenting their teenage years in some way and that part of themselves won't allow them to mature so it can be that there was some level of trauma when it is connected to the devil card. You know, uh, now I'm not uh, scientific or, uh, you know, medically trained to talk about this either, but I'm being given this energy that sometimes people stay at a certain level of maturity if they've experienced a trauma in their life. It's almost like it... Um, time capsules them into that period and they find it hard to break out of that. So I'm getting that strongly from this person and this is very unique. It's never come up before in any of my readings. So I feel this person has had something happen to them in the past and it's kind of like shifted their personal growth is what I'm seeing there. Okay. Uh, so I feel this person, they are very nostalgic about their youth, very nostalgic about their past, but they're also very nostalgic about you. They feel that when they were with you, they were truly happy and they sabotaged this. They got in their own way, but now they're reflecting on why is what I'm being given. Um, they see you as a gift. I mean, the Six of Cups is always connected to a gift energy from the universe. They saw you as very generous. Seven of Swords, they did a lot of running because they have some baggage. Um, I'm just going to keep this here because they're not showing me the baggage at this time. Um, you see the Seven of Swords, they're aware that their actions of running away or for some of you beautiful Capricorns, maybe connected to that uh, song as well. Perhaps they ghosted uh, or just didn't offer up an explanation as to why they really were stepping back. But the Seven of Swords is a card of independence, of course. It doesn't always have to be about betrayal. Uh, whenever you get a gold or yellow card, especially in the background, it is a positive card. So this can also indicate that um, this person, they were trying to work something out and they felt like the union was going too quickly and they always meant to return. They always meant to come back. They may have even given you something is what I'm seeing. They gave you something with the intention of coming back. Uh, so they may have lent you something or uh, I just get an energy that they gave something and they always meant to return for it or return for you mainly, but it was like a ruse or a way of saying, I'm going to be back here. Um, but they've got a lot to sort through. The 10 of wands. I feel that this person, I want to say that they were betrayed in the past but I feel like it was deeper than that. I feel like this person has carried something. And again, I'm not here to give anyone an excuse or a way out. Um, there's no excuse for bad behavior. Um, people make choices and they are aware of the choices that they are making. I want you to be aware of that as well. I'm sure you're aware of that already. Um, so I'm not here to give an excuse. But the Ten of Wands indicates this person, there's something from childhood that they've carried with them and it was traumatic. And it's kept them really bound and stuck in fear about either exposing this part of themselves, because when you get into a twin flame connection, uh, you know, you open a part of yourself that you don't open up to other people. So I feel there's a level of exposure here. Also, I feel with that 10 of wands, this person, you know, it's hard to sift through the mud of life because that's what a spiritual awakening is. And I feel... <sighs> There's just this energy of whenever they look back at this one moment in their life, they are 
either crippled with fear or stillness or it just stops them in their tracks and they're like, I can't do it, I can't do it. It's almost like this Paris narrative has become a part of them that they can never reveal or release. Um, let me just see more. Can you show me what this is and why it's there? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Oh, this person's been betrayed. Okay. Um, and yeah, this person was betrayed. Um, and with the two queens there, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading, but I get an energy that um, someone that this person was connected to before they even met you. But there is something from childhood as well, but this is off limits, so I gotta leave that there. Um, this person was betrayed. They thought they were settling down with someone, building a life with a person, uh, but then uh, they started to detach. And I feel this person found out, your twin found out that the person they were connected to was cheating on them or betrayed them in some way. Uh, betrayal doesn't always have to be cheating, but I feel that with this particular twin, this twin was cheated on. And it's like when you met each other, um, they were closed off to love. They're like, nope, not doing it. Love hurts. Love leaves. I've just had enough of this. But I feel this person, there's a cycle repeat that has continued to happen in their life. And... They were just not looking for love when they met you, but they did fall in love. They recognize that you are the gift. Remember, this is the card of the universe stepping in to give a gift. This is also the card. After a turbulent time, the cloud is there. Uh, it represents, you know, some sort of storm in their life that they were going through. And out of that storm came the perfect love, the perfect opportunity to open their heart. But because everything had gone wrong in the past, these cups were not fulfilling. Uh, they've got the Seven of Swords there, which indicates that, you know, um, they ran away from love, but it can be because they were betrayed and they were just, you know, closed off to love when they first met you. So um, this is what has influenced this person. The energy that they're in right now, I would have to say that they're still unhealed. They think about you a lot. But with the Four Swords, they've taken some time to reflect. When one steps back in life, this is the temporary timeout card. Um, and this person, you know, they start to know their own mind. They start to really look at the stuff that they've been avoiding for quite some time. Also, with the Four Swords, this person really enjoys their own company. But they are going through a period of growth in a very difficult uh, experience. It's not... I feel like this person... It almost feels like getting over a betrayal from a past lover or ex or karmic. Uh, this person, it feels like for them, that was the easy part. It's the stuff from childhood that's not so easy. And that's the thing that keeps them in a cycle of repeat or feeling fear to open up. I'm just going to go and pull one more card on this Four of Swords because I am getting energy that this person, they are recuperating, they're healing from their past, but they're not quite there yet. Um, they may even tell you that they've gone on a getaway because I feel like this person, you will communicate with this person in the future, but the initial communication, it doesn't feel like a traditional way of like messaging. And I don't know what that means. I mean... For some people, their communication can be in like memes or pictures or I don't know. So it could be that because right now I'm seeing an image in the water of someone about to carve initials into a tree. OK, uh, so it can be that they send you a meme or a picture of that happening um, because I feel it's just it's not words. It just feels I, I can't pinpoint it. I got to be honest, I can't pinpoint what a non-traditional letter or message looks like. So it can only be in our digital age, some sort of like photograph, reel or meme, or I don't know, um, or that they just like a photo of yours or something, um, or they send you a song. Maybe they send you a song. 
I'm old fashioned. Let's hope it's a song. But anyway, uh, thanks so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide the tower? Yes. So um, we've got the nine of pentacles. So this person enjoying their independent life. They are single. So uh, whoever I'm picking up on in this twin flame dynamic, because of course there's lots of twins out there. Um, this particular twin is single. Nine of pentacles indicates single life. Four of Swords, single life. This person, they are learning about reciprocity. They're learning about investment in relationship. But most importantly, this person is learning about investment in self. Because one cannot love another person until they truly love themselves or fall in love with their life. So I feel this person is learning to do that. This person may tell you, as I said later on, they'll tell you that they went on a spiritual retreat to find themselves. And this is where they have their major awakening. The tower is a higher vibrational frequency that basically shatters old narratives. It frees one up from being stuck or in the cycle of repeat. So this person, they're about to have their ego death. They're about to have their spiritual awakening, which means, you know, if you've stepped back, you've closed the chapter, it's encouraged this vibrational change. You know, uh, the lightning bolt is a change in frequency. It suddenly hits the crown chakra, which is the knowingness. Suddenly, you know, um, when we build illusions to keep ourselves comfortable, that's what the ego does, especially if we've had some level of trauma or we have trauma responses or we get stuck in um, a narrative that we've been programmed in from other people throughout our whole life. Uh, this is about unlearning the stuff we learned, right? And I definitely see that this person is doing that right now. They want to take a leap of faith. Two people there are in a burning tower and the options they have are stay stuck stay in the same position and get burnt or you know it's over or take a leap of faith take a chance on this liberate yourselves from the past narrative from the old cycles of repeat and change rebuild this is a card that indicates both of you you know you want to be together and I feel uh, you can be drawn towards each other in the future. However, the leap of faith has to happen. And you've got the full card as the outcome, which is the leap of faith. But your person has the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like deep down they want to offer a healthier relationship when it comes to foundations. I mean, this person, they're really drawn to you, okay? But they are in this toxic pattern. So either you are dealing with someone who has addictions or they are stuck in a cycle of fear or they um, are at a level of maturity right now where they are protecting their heart because of previous experiences. I mean, it could also indicate that this person, there was something about time with this person where they thought, you know what, I could just enjoy myself now. And they've got a certain time frame that they feel, okay, now I can start to think about settling down. And it's, it's like a narrative that they built in their mind. You can't put love to the side. It doesn't work on your time. It works on the vibrational universal energy of time where, you know, divine timing happens. So this person though, they're stuck in a cycle of withdrawing with the four of swords there and offering a healthy relationship. So their intention is really to have a high level commitment with you. However, they're stuck in a cycle of, you know, coming in strong and offering everything they have to give and then leaving and being on their own. Now, of course, everybody needs their alone time, but this person, they're fluctuating and you feel that this person is too inconsistent for you to build a life with them so right now, it's stalemate. Nothing's happening. It is, a, it is literally a closed chapter at this moment in time. Um, your outcome energy, we've got the beginnings card. So um, this, I feel, is a choice for both of you, especially since we've got the moon card there and we've got the uh, five of pentacles. This can be an energy of you and this person. You know, you may be opening up a new start elsewhere with other people, but I feel it's a choice because... Um, the Five of Pentacles indicates if you and this person can break through, you can actually salvage something that was dying or ending and you can like bring it back to life. So I feel you and your person, you have the option right now. And I do feel that you and your person will have uh, an option in the future to heal, especially since the uh, Queen of Cups is present there. But in its present form, I would say the next six weeks, both of you are separate. Both of you are, um, you know, doing a lot of reflecting. And I mean, 
the fool card is to have fun, but it's also a lot of potential. So the overarching energy is enjoy this separation period, getting to know yourself on a deeper level, healing yourself in ways where you spiritually evolve. And you know, you and this person, there is still a lot of potential in this connection. I'm gonna pull quick card on this Ace of Pentacles because connected to it, I feel like there is an offering You know, this coin is on sand, and of course, coins represent investment. Um, the sand is like a very difficult terrain to grow something from. However, things can grow. As you can see in the background there, there's lots of growth in deserted kind of environments. So I feel eight of pentacles. They're working on themselves. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I would say in the next six weeks, you will not hear from them in a traditional way, okay? That's what I'm getting at this time. There's no swords here. Um, it feels very much like um, they may even tell you when they do speak to you, maybe after the six-week period, that they've been a little bit unwell or they haven't been feeling themselves. So they've had to take some time to rest. Uh, this person, uh, your twin, could have gone through a procedure or an unwellness. Uh, they're healing is what I'm seeing there. Uh, and they may tell you about it. But the Eight of Pentacles, you know, this is an energy where it's the same old thing, just a different day. So for the next six weeks, I would say keep working on yourself because your person is also working on themselves. And I feel uh, there's still a lot of work to do before you and this person come together. I hate giving that message, but I gotta be honest with you. I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, you're gonna be back together by the weekend. I can't do that. I have to honor the energy, uh, even though I would want you to be together if that's what you want. Um, but that Eight of Pentacles, it tells me the self. You're working on the self at this time. Um, now the moon card is a card of course of reflection and that's what I feel you and your person are in a period of. Now the moon card indicates uh, that you are going to get a surprise message from this person. Um, it'll be after the six weeks, okay? But also the moon is an energy of a secret coming to light, okay? So I feel like this person is going to confide in you about something. I feel it's not the big thing just yet, Later on down the line, this person will tell you about that, but it's not um, its not in the next couple of months, okay? That's what I'm seeing there. The moon card is also romance, okay? So I definitely see here that um, there can be um, an energy of you and this person having another romantic encounter, okay? I would say your person is still stuck in the cycle of repeat. With the five of pentacles, this is the card of abandonment, okay? So I would say that this person, they're still in the same vibration. If they're coming in strong, they are physically very attracted to you. They actually have a lot of love for you and they want to invest. This is their intention when they come in. However, their toxic cycle repeat, where they sabotage, they're going to repeat the cycle. I gotta be honest with you, okay? Uh, the Five of Pentacles can also indicate that this abandonment issue is still present and that they have not healed this yet. So I feel um, there is still so much potential and it feels like there's just another round. That's that's what I'm seeing there. So protect your beautiful heart, my beautiful Capricorn, because I feel like this person, I mean, looking at your energy, you're so done um, because you can't do this anymore. But what I see here is this person, they will try to re-enter your life. So I want you to be aware of that also. Uh, the Queen of Cups, this indicates uh, an energy of healing, of falling in love, wanting to be with each other, but I feel healing must occur first before love can really take over. Um, and I also feel that this person, they will, when they message you in the future, um, because I feel the first encounter is not a traditional one, but then there will be messages, there will be actual words, uh, it will get romantic, this person will kind of tell you how they feel and take them at their word. They really mean it. However, they're still in their own way. Okay, I feel this person is actually frustrated that they keep getting in their own way. But I feel this person, they're not emotionally available to offer you the love that you truly deserve and desire at this period in time. In the future, when they've worked on themselves a little bit more, they will be capable of that. But remember, time waits for no person. So get busy living.
is what I see there. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Good angels, can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Can you please? Aha! Look at that card. I told you that um, this person they put up stuff on social media, acting like everything's amazing, but uh. It's not true right now for them, okay? Look at this card. I'm pretending everything is okay. So this deck is amazing, okay? You could have got any card in this deck, but you got the cards that relate directly to the energy that came out in this reading, okay? Uh, I'm pretending that everything is okay. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. And this is the truth. This is really how they feel, okay? Uh, they saw a future with you, but they got in their own way. And... Humans, as I said, are very complex creatures, and when this person works their stuff out, then, you know, I feel like this could be a beautiful relationship. However, I feel like, you know, time is of the essence, and I feel like you're just so fed up with this cycle that um, you want a peaceful, loving relationship, one where someone invests in the relationship and works hard to maintain that spark because relationships are hard. They require work and you don't want to be with someone who gives up at the first sign of trouble. So I feel, you know, let's just be honest with each other. Now, I feel like this person does really want to be very honest with you and I feel um, that they will be uh, about the big thing in their life a little bit later on, maybe at the end of the year or maybe even next year uh, with this person because I feel it's a big deal for them, whatever it is. It's really off limits to me. Um, but I feel like they'll tell you about being betrayed. I feel like they will tell you about uh, something they're struggling with, but there's more to come is what I want you to be aware of. I can't stop thinking about you. That definitely came up. This person really cannot stop thinking about you. That is the main energy. But that will be the catalyst for change. You've stepped back, so therefore, their next option is to step forward, but they must get out of their own way before they can do that. I'm emotionally unavailable right now. Now that came out as well in the reading, so uh, even this deck is really pinpointing all the energies that I picked up on from this particular twin flame. And please give me time to open up. Time is a factor, you know, it waits for no person and it is the most precious commodity because we can never get it back. So I always say, do not wait for your twin. When the moment is right, especially since you got the moon card there, that will mean that, you know, behind the scenes, the universe will orchestrate a meeting between you and this person. However, I feel this person, they're not emotionally available and they're hiding a part of themselves because they feel they are not ready to expose what it was that they experienced or went through and they're wrestling with that at this moment in time and when they can open up to that and face it fully on their own terms then they can start to let a person in truly into their life and then they can actually open up to love because i feel there's a degree of self-loathing with this person it's connected to whatever this is in the past okay so i'm just going to leave that there uh, i'm just going to go and get a trinket or a room we got two rune here, okay? Before I reveal the rune, um, if anyone would like to enter the free competition to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is listen to a song called You're the Voice by John Farnham and write in the comments box below, I stand strong with an attitude of gratitude. Music, of course, it raises vibrations and we are really at a very critical point in the world where vibrations need to rise, okay? So um, this song, it's a great song. It's not my typical kind of choice or my style of music that I like, but my guides offered it up for the competition. So please, you know, give it a listen if you have a moment. If it really doesn't resonate with you though, please choose a song that resonates with you more. Raising your vibrations is the most important thing at this time, okay? The effect shall be the same. Please, whatever song you choose to listen to, write that sentence at the same time because it has a vibrational attachment and my guides will draw me towards the person who is meant to win the reading. Also, please keep your notification bell on because I will upload a video announcing the winner's name at the end of the month and that notification bell will just let you know whether it's your name or not, okay? So um, your final rune we have 
the potential ruin. So there is still a lot of potential in this connection should you want to connect to it. However, it's also the freedom ruin. So um, it means, of course, free will. We all have that. But also it's like freeing oneself up from a cycle of habit. And I feel that this is what this person is going through right now. They're not there yet, but I feel in the future they can be. But also from your perspective, you're freeing yourself up because you can't do this anymore. It is wasting your time. And I feel like even though there's a lot of love there, I feel like you're gathering up all of that energy, that power within yourself to walk away from this at this time. But remember, that's you being the cycle of change. You are the catalyst to changing this person's vibrations by stepping away, okay? And finally, we have the destiny energy, okay? Uh, this is the Wheel of Fortune rune. It is actually all about partnerships, love, divine union, and uh, people coming together. So these two together literally say, once you free yourselves up from the cycle of repeat, there's a lot of potential in this connection, and it can work out but there is work that is required from your twin and of course from yourself both of you in different ways okay so we'll leave it there i hope something resonates in this reading for you all my beautiful capricorn thank you so much and love and light